Whoa, how y'all doing out there? This is your man, Nico B, Black Effect. You already know what it is, man. Let me get into this video quickly. All right, man, look. One word, the only word I want to hear moving forward from my people. I mean, right now we in a in a crazy situation. But one word, only word I want to hear moving forward from my people is reparations. Listen to me. The only word I want to hear moving forward from my people is reparations. Reparations, what you know, we all know that we helped build this country. This, if we helped build this country, you know, on the backs, on our uh, backs of our ancestors, their blood, their sweat, their tears, we are officially owed money, monetary compensation. And it's sad that up into 2020, y'all hadn't, we as a people has had no leaders to be able to effectively get that. We hadn't rallied as a collective to be able to collectively get that. These white people who I heard in these uh, protests, yeah, you out here destroying shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing a bunch of dumb shit, acting out. But what you were, were you when it came time to come get what's owed to me you didn't want to see us because that could that alone could stop a lot of things that's going on in the ghetto and in a lot of foolish crimes and that would alone could give you a establish allow us to establish a power structure more better education systems but why didn't you black leaders do that why ain't none of you niggas with all this cheddar cheese just coming in and organizing with the brothers and the dogs and putting physical money behind this cause? Y'all ain't doing that. I don't have no, you know, respect for, for no shit like that, man. Y'all, because that's why I'm sitting back and observing this and I'm riding with the G.O.D., homie. You better understand that. That's who I'm rolling with. I'm in the I'm in the discernment of God, in the truth of God, staying on his path. You know, in these point in these point in times, man, you need to draw closer to God to know what's going on. Because these it don't matter you you're trying to be a part of all of these groups and things like that. And you know, and a lot of them are gender based. Even my own people need more focus and fairness to their point. You know, like this, this rioting and stuff, it's just chaos. You fucking up other people's stuff. You got people fighting back for their businesses. Even other black people are saying, you know, trying to distinguish their business to, oh, it's black owned, so nigga won't come and destroy their shit. But it don't matter. You can't, you don't have the right to destroy the white people shit, black, Hispanic. You don't have that right. You know what I'm saying? Same way a nigga don't have that right to come grab your shit. Another black nigga run up in your stuff and take your shit. He don't have that right. Your life will be, you know what I'm saying? You fucking with me like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? People just trying to, people, this isn't, the, that isn't the solution. We know that. You know, the solution comes with infrastructure, um, changing things, you know, because the same, like they said, the same people out here running around are the same people who don't vote for anybody. I said that myself, and the same type of people who don't need, who not even really informed. They just, uh, and I mean truly informed, they only know what they've heard, seen on the internet, and entertain things like that. That's not true, inf like true information, bro. Like, you know, we all know that the internet be tweaking stuff, videos get tweaked. Uh, word of mouth get to spread and it changed 20 times that's why i'm all about facts and evidence but okay we've we are here and we've got some attention you know we they basically with the with the death of george floyd you know it's it's just that was the the monkey branch or the where people piggyback where my people piggyback to now say look we are tired we've been we you know we've been oppressed you know we we've been impoverished we've been um uh uh unfairly charged you know this this judicial system has been unfair to us you know when you had situations where a young boy who was falsely accused went to jail didn't have anybody to bail him out and he went to jail for a long time and ended up um could never get right after that and ended up committing suicide the mental illness that you have caused the black man over here throughout his generations you've caused him to have mental illness over here that's a real thing but 
but no one has fought for that. No one has fought to get, you know, um, his monetary compensation for that, for the man, um, for him being behind, tossed in her being behind. And you wicked ass white folks did not go out to bat to fight to get our money that was owed to us. All you heard was a bunch of foolishness. Like, oh, well, I didn't own slaves. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. See, but see, now this shit, this is what you get from this. Now it's unbridled chaos. Black motherfuckers don't care. I, and, and, you know, I don't blame. It's not about blaming anyone. I'm only telling you the real. Because, I once again, I'm aligned with the most high God. You understand me? The G-O-D, Jesus Christ, you know, that being, that's who I'm with. I'm, I've been saying this, the discernment he gives us. We are the chosen people of God, black folks. He gives us discernment to be able to move and be, and you know, and be safe and to be able to move and go and be effective, to be very effective in the things that we do. You know what I'm saying? And to be effective, you have to funnel all of your anger and your focus, focal point into one, look, listen to Bruce Lee, into one point, just the same way in, in, in karate, one point. When you're breaking a board, that you have to focus into one point, not, go, not one group over here. Not one group down here, one group over here are talking about, you know, t talking about uh, uh, black lives, black power, and then they jumping and, and grabbing TVs out the motherfucking shit. Not one group, you know, talking about um, death to whitey or some shit like that. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? We need to get together and get organized. But like I say, black man, what do you want, black man? Y'all, we need to stop all of this. You need to take some time and figure out what do you want. You know, if, if, if this is just because it's not just about this George Floyd case, you know, let's just be real. It's not. And, you know, y'all, it's a lot of things that's, that could go on that could even prevent these things from happening. You could have been and prevented it. If do you, These things don't happen in affluent neighborhoods. The cops don't come to good neighborhoods or places with intelligent citizens, citizens who will sue their ass, who got money, things like this, where you can fight back. You fight back with money, you know, and things like that also. But they don't go to places that are affluent and just fuck them up. No, they just, because they know that the, for the most part, people, this is how people think. For the most part, when they see people who got something, you equate them with people who have a lot to lose so you equate them with people who know how to conduct themselves that's just how human beings think it's not just cops because when some of you black people some of us when we go when we in the ghetto or we in our neighborhood or predominantly black neighborhood we looking around we grabbing the shit oh shit oh shit first instance we grabbing a toaster you know, we and that's how it is. First instant, we grabbing the toaster. We about to blam my own partner. Bang! I shoot that nigga in the face. We, we so fucking scared. You in the hood. and But when you niggas go, go crawl into in these white neighborhoods and creep and run over there where y'all try to run to, the, look like the damn sun shining. The grass, sun shining brighter. The grass greener. You you skipping along. Howdy day. Oh, how are you doing, sir? How are you doing? You know what I'm saying? You doing that. Black people know that. You know what I'm saying? So quit being phony, nigga. But at the end of the day, nigga, do you want your money or not? Why the fuck aren't you getting your reparations? Reparations, reparations. Re I'm going to just get on live and just start saying that word. Reparations, you fuck. Get it. You know, what are you crying for? What do you fight? Like, if you're not willing to go go get your paper that's owed to you, that's been robbed from you, you know, you're going to consider to be looked at, you know what I'm saying, as as uh, lesser than or things like that because you hadn't demanded it. You hadn't got it. You know, everybody, when these white folks see that y'all, I mean, and these people, it's not even just, it's not white folks. It's the people in power. Some of them, they, yeah, they're predominantly white due to the, you know, the history of things. But these people in power and elites and, and those people who don't have your best interest at heart, they know that it's a joke. They know what you're going to do. They know how to rile you up. We've been marching and flipping and, and rioting for, like, you know, for years. This cycle repeats itself. They, they, the Rodney King, niggas was up in arms and they didn't even have YouTube then. 
You know what I'm saying? Nigga just had the video. They recorded Rodney King getting beat up by these cops, and niggas just took, you know what I'm saying? They took that video and they went to they went to you know to the streets. And they was rioting again. This goes on. It's, you see the cycle that I'm talking about? But we can break the cycle. You know, we don't want to keep this shit going for years upon years because, like I said, the end game was if the, the end game start getting muddied up. It's not turn this shit diverging into some race war. And that's wrong. That's the wrong direction because not all white people are just serious KKK racists. But like I said, yeah, you do need to stand up and speak up. Every one of you white people. But y'all need to stand up and speak up and fuck it. Just Y'all, all y'all out there at that KK, at them rallies, I mean, are these, um, y'all need to ask any white person who around her, give me a dollar, man. Let me have a dollar or two dollars. Every one of y'all donate. Every one of y'all coming to them rallies. We don't even need y'all to destroy no property. We don't need y'all to do that. You know what I'm saying? We're we not doing that. We don't need you to do that. What I need you to do instead of doing that is peel out five dollars from your pocket. Just drop it, just drop it in a collection for the black fund. For our for the reparations fund because it's start we we need that you know what I'm saying and if you truly love a love a nigga or son, you will come down to where I'm at if you truly love that's why that's why you know I don't give a fuck what you say you know what I'm saying I got love for Becky you know what I'm saying I got some love for Becky yep fuck you I got some love for for white Becky because she'll come down to the to the block with the black man you know what I'm saying salute shorty. Fuck what you heard. She ain't looking trying to chase the chase it behind the white man like this. That ain't what Becky doing. She and she coming independent of herself and coming grinding with the black man. Coming less when dropping herself to come get niggas up. I can get with that. You know what I'm saying? Now all of you, like I said, now I'm talking to you white people. Y'all running around here trying to be in solidarity with us. Well, fair is fair. Your ancestors raped, pillaged, and and robbed from my ancestors. They enslaved them. They took their labor for free. They produced children of poverty. We are those children. You benefited from that wealth generation you can only amass wealth through generations like like big amounts it comes generation enough time in the world you took that wealth you know what i'm saying and amass infrastructure and just left us to die you owe us and i mean you owe the you can't pay my ancestors you can't pay my great grandfather you owe me okay i'll take that inheritance i'll take the money all of you white people out there break your pockets back Peel your fucking pockets back. That's all that matters. Then we can all be in the same situation. Some, instead of some being up here and all of the some down here, we can all just be right here and enjoying it together. If you want to be together, you can't run from us anymore. You know, you got to live with, we, we, this is how it's got, Hispanics, we already know, they they come in, they rock it, they, they build a mansion in the dead heart of the motherfucking hood, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Pablo Escobar shit, you know what I'm saying? It's that Medellin. Fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? But we all, you know, and this is all I've been saying, you know, it's it's about everyone. Do you think God is going to be sitting here? I'm talking about G-O-D. The creator that you run from all day. The, your, the only, the, the actual only authority, motherfucker. The only nigga you need to be listening to. The only thing you need to be following. Not government. Not none of that. That's why y'all so lost now. Because you chasing everything and you not following the G-O-D. The intelligent mind. That being is intelligent. It created you. It cre DNA. It know what it's doing. But see... But y'all don't want to hear that, though. You see, I, when I said that, it's already a group of people like, what? The G girl. Oh, that's that, that religious talk. Like, look, man. Stop playing, man. Nah. It's just that real talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That beginning of time talk. Because we come into to a time where it's this great separation happening. The separate, you starting to see people true colors. You'll see that when you turn up the heat. The only thing about America is America is, has been pacified. You've enjoyed, even us as black people, has, you know, well, I'm not going to even say, let me, let me, we've enjoyed a certain level of comf comfortability 
but black people we 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 can we can we can honestly say we can put ourselves separate because we are the only people who've been treated uniquely in America. We are the bastard children of the American white man, and that motherfucker uh is a deadbeat dad. So, but but even still, us as black people in America, would you have wanted wanted to be anywhere else? Would you have gotten? I know my you know people, my people, some of my people that got major money out here. Would you have wanted to do that? Could you have done that anywhere else? Could you have done that in Germany? You know what I'm saying? Wherever you you name it, one of these third world countries. Could you have done that? A lot of you niggas don't even want to go to Africa. Y'all wouldn't know where to go. You know, if y'all went to Africa, you wouldn't know where to go. You you would be just like you in the ghetto again, trying to grab your shit. Nigga be fuck around and killed you over there because you don't know what the hell to do. You know what I'm saying? You 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 don't have you just not that type of guy. You I mean you just not that type of person. You the type of person to go anywhere and, and fuck it up. That's just you. You might wanna you might wanna um do some introspective looking. But reparations, man. Reparations, reparations, reparations. I need my fucking money. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that you know that <laughs> that I just need it to live. No, you owe me. You know what I'm saying? You owe me my money, man. Like, I fucking, like, I'm, I'm to the point niggas is destroying police car, bomb, 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 doing all this. Fuck, nigga, you need to go pawn that shit. Nigga, I'm talking to all black niggas, because after this shit is all said and done, where will you be? Where are we going to be? Like, I'm, and I'm not saying, like, you know, I'm still on my on my independent grind. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, get, I'm still going to get to the back. But I'm saying, where are we going to be as black people after this all ends? They even convict dude. After they convict dude or whatever, you know, or and arrest his people if they do after autopsy comes out. Where do we go? Like, some niggas just going to creep back into the dilapidated ghetto and grabbing, cutting up the coat, cutting up the pills. You want some pills? You want some selling that shit all the way to your fucking uh, nephew? You know, they gonna creep back into the dilapidated ghetto on trip, on kick, kick, give me the kick, kick, blood, nigga, blood. I'm gonna shoot you over this neighborhood, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have niggas creep back to the dilapidated ghetto, not have no love for their family members, jealous of their own brother. You know, it's all about, I'm gonna chase a little crab in the barrel, I'm gonna chase a little cheddar cheese, cause I ain't got two pennies to rub together. That's what we gonna return to? Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Stop it. We got to really get an end game. But reparations. 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 I need that. It's your man.